Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks, and this is a review of the Chicago Electric Electric Hand Planer. I got this hand planer from Harbor Freight for about $48, and that was after the coupon. Uh, they had another hand planer there that was kind of cheap, not very comfortable to use, looked like, so I went ahead and went for this one, which said was uh, professional quality. I don't know if it's professional quality or not, but... Uh, it seems a lot sturdier, has nicer grips on the handles, and uh, it, so far it's worked pretty well. So uh, I'll do a re little review of it. It comes with um, a small dust bag, which fills up really quickly with all the wood that it takes off. Uh, it has a little elastic end on it, which goes over this port right there. And then on the other end, it has a zipper so that you can dump out the contents pretty easily. Uh, and it's kind of a cheap bag, some strings coming off of it already. So it may not last long, I'll just have to go to a dust collection system. On the front of the tool, you have the depth, uh, depth adjustment handle. And that you just turn Turn the knob and uh, goes all the way up to 1 16th of an inch and it just adjusts that front guide there, moves that up and down. And on the bottom you can see the blade which is held in by three nuts. Um, blade pretty sharp still, I've used it probably five times or so on some tough wood and so far I haven't had any problems with it. It has caught a few times but that could just be because I have it on the biggest depth. And inside with the instruction manual is also included a small wrench for undoing those nuts and taking out the blade. Also included is an edge guide so this just Connects up to the um, to the planer here. You just screw that in, and if you're doing planing on a regular board, which I don't do often, uh, you can use this and run along the edge of the board with that, and it'll help you plane. Um, like I said, I don't use that often, so I don't usually keep it on there. Um, you can also adjust the guide back and forth using this. Just loosen that, and you can slide it back and forth. So that's a nice attachment. To activate it, you just have this safety here, which is pretty comfortable. You just press it in with your thumb and pull the trigger there. That's uh, a pretty good planer. Uh, I'll show you how it works in a minute. Uh, I've been able to get some pretty rough wood with it and uh, it works a lot better than using a uh, rotary sander to get a lot of uh, a lot of thickness off so, and that's what it's meant for. Uh, so now I'll show you how well it works. Alright, so now that I've shown you the tool itself, now I'm going to show you how it uh, planes. So I'm just going to be planing the bottom of the piece of wood that I currently use as a stool in my shop. Uh, it's just a log. But I'll be just planing off this higher edge right there, trying to flatten it out and just show you how well it, it planes that off. So you're going to want to use ear protection of course because it's pretty loud and also gloves and uh, I'll show you how it works
so you can see it takes off the wood pretty well. Um, it can actually be pretty easy to get a smooth, uh, smooth surface on there. I didn't get that smooth of a surface this time, but uh, I was able to on another piece of the end of a log. I was able to get a pretty smooth surface just with that. Uh, so it does what I want it to do, and it takes off some pretty tough wood. So, uh, pretty happy with it. So now that you've seen how well it takes off the wood, it seemed like it, it worked pretty well on, on what I planed. Like I said, I can usually get a pretty smooth surface if I try to get just the right uh, little sections of wood off. It's actually capable of getting a pretty good surface on there. Um, of course, I'll always sand off to make it smoother later, but the blade's pretty sharp, and it works pretty well for the price, so I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, I hope this review has been helpful, and thank you for watching.